Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna take a look at a figure based on Steamboat Willie. And uh, if you've been paying attention to the news, you might have seen that Steamboat Willie actually became part of the public domain, uh, which basically means that uh, artists and other people can kind of use it without getting in trouble, um, as long as they're not trying to draw Mickey like he is now. Um, the 1928 version is definitely a lot different, uh, more prehistoric, uh, I guess you could say. And um, I'll be definitely doing some art and some things I'll be uh, giving away at some point. And today we're actually going to take a look at Beast Kingdom's uh, two uh, Steamboat Willie figures. One being this mini mouse. And uh, I've had this sitting in my studio for, gosh, I think five months now. And um, I'm just now getting uh, to doing it, but it's a great timing uh, with uh, everything going on. And uh, we'll take a look at this first, and then we'll uh, do a recap of the two Mickey versions I have. One is Beast Kingdom, the other one is done by someone else. Um, but I, I love them both. And uh, Steamboat Willie is actually one of my favorite early, early uh, Disney cartoons. So uh, let's go ahead and check this figure out. Alrighty, so first we're going to take a look at the base. As you can see, this plaque here says Steamboat Willie, Minnie Mouse, and uh, it is limited to 3,000. We got number 705, and uh, as you can see, it is beautifully designed. It looks just like a wood floor, which is supposed to represent the floor on the steamboat. And uh, these nails that they have on here, or are supposed to be nails, look just like nails. They did a great job of painting them and uh, giving a texture to them. And you can see these are where the two pegs go in. This is where her front heel goes, and then that is the back. And uh, I'll show you how that works in a moment. And uh, on the bottom, just says Made in China, and it has a felt pad so it doesn't slide around. And there is a plastic cover on this metal plate that you can remove. I usually leave it on just so I don't uh, scuff it up, but you can remove it. And I noticed in this particular one, they put uh, little pads on the inside. Uh, some of their other figures uh, wobble a little bit, so I think they might have done that to try to stop that. And it does work great because... Um, I kind of put this together in advance uh, just to make sure everything worked all right. And now we will, I will show you how the base goes and attaches to her feet. Alrighty, so here is her heel. As you can see, there's a spike there and then this uh, bigger one here. And it just goes in these holes right here. And just push it down all, make sure it goes in all the way. And then she is flush with the flooring. And then we'll put her head on. Alrighty, so you can see there is a knob here. And Minnie better watch out for the cat right there. And uh, so you just take her head, there is the hole on the bottom. And like I mentioned, they put pads in these, which is very nice because uh, it helps them stay stable. Uh, some of their older figures actually kind of shook around. So I appreciate that addition. And then there you go. We have Minnie and uh, it's very, very sturdy and she looks absolutely great. Here's a close-up of her hat. It has a cute little flower on it. I love the gray scale on this. It's really cute. Um, and her beautiful little smile and her little coconuts, I guess they are. And then her little musical note on her guitar and the strings, very cute. Here's her dress with her little spots. And she even has a cute little petticoat and uh, shoes that look very cute, and her little tail. 
So uh, let's go ahead and check out her significant other, Mickey Mouse. Since I already had my scale out because I had to send something to someone, I thought we'd go ahead and actually see how much their heads weigh. Uh, Minnie's is one pound, 4.3 ounces. And we'll clear that. And I know his is definitely a lot heavier. Let's see if I can get it to stay on here. Yeah, there's a big difference. Three pounds, 8.8. .8. And uh, I think that's because hers is more hollow. Like these ears are, are hollow inside. And uh, I think his are pretty solid. So they might have changed the way they do them to save on material. Um, I mean, I know his hat's gonna weigh more, but uh, yeah. So that's the difference in regards to their heads. Sorry, kids, for the trauma. Here they are side by side for comparison. And uh, pretty much, uh, geez, I think uh, Minnie looks old, might be a little taller. It's, I guess it's the heels. <laughs> but uh, I absolutely love these two. They look great. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them on my shelf. Uh, I like to get display cases for these eventually. Um, just so they don't collect so much dust. Uh, but for now, I have them out and open. And then I'll, uh, since we're talking uh, Steamboat Willie, I will share my other one with you. So here is the other one I have. As you can see, uh, the base is designed much different than the other one. It's uh, square. Um, I'm not sure which one I prefer. Either one is nice. Um, it would have been nice if they included nails on here like the other one. Um, maybe they just wanted a simplified uh, flooring, but uh, I think the nails add uh, more dimension and character to the flooring. And uh, here is the wheel, and this is all um, one piece. It doesn't come off. Um, while I was moving the other one, as I mentioned, the handles just fell right off, um, which is kind of annoying. I guess I could glue them in, but then if I remove, I might need to put them back in the box. Um, here is his shoes. They're a little weathered. Um, this belonged to someone else. There's actually kind of a long story to, not a huge long story, but uh, a friend of mine actually picked this up for me in Orlando. And then uh, when I, my family and I went down to Disney World, he actually, uh, we met up and he gave it to me. So I greatly appreciate Aaron. If you happen to be watching this video, he's always a been a great friend to me and I've known him for a very long time and uh, a lot of my friends that I meet are from online um, just through my artwork or other avenues and uh, I love the cute little mice hands that he has very long arms uh, very more cartoonish than the other version and I like this one because he's whistling um, I was thinking about making an alternate head or if I can find another version of the one I just showed you from Beast Kingdom, I would uh, I would maybe re-sculpt the head to make him a whistling version, but uh, it would have to be uh, fairly cheap for, uh, to get it, and then I might do that. I thought that would be cool, but uh, I'd pretty much have to remodel his head from scratch um, just because he has a big grin on his face, and that wouldn't quite work well for whistling. But uh, this one is all one piece, the entire thing. Um, it doesn't come off the base at all. Um, I mean, I'm sure it was probably a part when they made this because it would be a hell of a thing to pull out of a mold. So I'm assuming they just glued it down in spots. But uh, as you can see, he's got his little whistle going on. And uh, I think it's absolutely cute. Uh, this one is smaller than the other one. And, uh, but that's okay. And uh, this kind of has more of an old feel where the other one is kind of cleaned up uh, to be more um, modern, I would say, I guess. Um, but I absolutely love this one. So uh, let me know what you think of these. Like I said, this one is not from Beast Kingdom. This was an older version. Um, and uh, I love anything Steamboat Willie. So I'm hoping to get some more of these figures. When they come out, I know there's a bunch of old ones. Um, if I remember, I will show you at the end of this video some other versions. And uh, so, yeah, that wraps this up. 
and I hope you enjoyed this quick preview. Um, the video is not really that long, and uh, I appreciate you watching. I love to share new things with you, and uh, I'd like you all to have a magical day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.